Hi everyone, in this video we're going to demonstrate a classic result to do with prime numbers that was first obtained more than 2,000 years ago by the great Greek uh, mathematician Euclid. He showed that there are infinitely many prime numbers. Let's see how he did it. First, here's something to be aware of. Every natural number greater than 1 is divisible by some prime number. This is a consequence of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Of course, if n is a natural number greater than 1, it can be expressed as a product of powers of prime numbers, the result of factoring it. So any of the prime factors that appear in this factorization will divide into it. Now to demonstrate our result that the set of prime numbers is infinite. We'll use an important method of proof known as reduction to absurdity. The basis of this method is that if we want to demonstrate a proposition P, we suppose that the opposite, not P, is true. And after a series of steps, reach a contradiction. Contradiction with what? With the original assumption. Assuming no P, we show that this is logically inconsistent, so that P must be true. In our case, we'll start by assuming the opposite of the case that there's an infinite number of prime numbers, namely that the set of prime numbers is finite. If we denote the set of prime numbers by P and assume it's finite, then the set consists of P1, P2, all the way up to some largest prime, PR. So, under this assumption, there'd be a finite number of prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, etc., all the way up to PR. Think about the number m that's equal to the product of all the prime numbers PI, where i is from 1 up to r, plus 1. If m were just the product of all the PIs from P1 up to PR, then there'd be no remainder of m were divided by any of these prime numbers, because they'd all be factors. But because we added 1 to the product, when we divide m by any of the pi's from i equals 1 to i equals r, there'll always be a remainder of 1. We'd started by assuming that the pi's from p1 to pr represented all the primes. But now, we found a natural number m greater than 1 that's not divisible by any of these primes. This violates the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. So we've run into a contradiction. A contradiction to the assumption that there's a finite number of prime numbers. Therefore, the opposite must be true. And we've proved that there are infinitely many primes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon.